This is Info Live TV headline news, May 19th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Israel does not intend to release any Palestinian prisoners in exchange for the release of IDF reservists Eldad Regev and Udi Goldwasser, held captive by Hezbollah since July 2006. The Haaretz newspaper reported on Monday that such demands may force Israel to break off negotiations and reevaluate the soldier situation in accordance with new intelligence on their conditions. A senior official told the newspaper that Israel has reached the outermost limits of the negotiations and the ball is now in Hezbollah's court. In a new message released on Sunday, Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden called on Muslims all over the world to help end Israel's siege on the Gaza Strip. In the audio tape message, bin Laden said that there would be no way to liberate the Palestinian territories without fighting pro-Israel Arab regimes. Those Arab kings and leaders sacrificed Palestine and al aska to keep their crowns, but we will not be relieved of the responsibility, the Al-Qaeda leader said. Egyptian intelligence chief Omar Suleiman, who is attempting to mediate a ceasefire between Hamas and Israel, said on Sunday that it is up to Israel to make or break a ceasefire. If Israel agrees to the terms Hamas has demanded, then the ceasefire could be implemented almost immediately. Israel said Suleiman has rejected most of the prisoners appearing on the list that Hamas has asked to be set free in any deal struck with Israel, which Suleiman says he believes will also include the release of Gilad Shalit. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has threatened to resign at the end of the year if a peace deal is not reached with Israel. Speaking at Sharm el-Sheikh, the Palestinian leader told Knesset member Yossi Beilin that he took the role of presidency in order to pursue a mission and there would be no point in continuing if peace with Israel is not reached by the end of the year. Israel has spent so far over six billion shekels on settlers evacuated from the Gaza Strip and the Northern West Bank in August 2005 according to Sela, the Disengagement Administration. In addition, the Knesset recently approved an increase in compensation payments that will total some 640 million shekels. However, settler leaders pointed out that 1,000 days after the disengagement, almost all the evacuated settlers still lack habitable permanent homes, and most have not yet been able to even start building. And on an optimistic note, in 2018, Israel will be a world-renowned high-tech economy moving towards peace and coexistence with its neighbors, according to former U.S. diplomat and Middle East policymaker Dennis Ross. His predictions were one of the many made by guests at last week's presidential Facing Tomorrow conference. World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauder said Israel's ability to enjoy regional peace in the next decade would be tied into its ability to cooperate with its regional neighbors. For the latest in sports news, please tune in to our daily sports update at InfoLive TV. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.